Hi there, Mike Sears here. Today I want to talk to you about baptism. That is, baptism in water. The first thing that Jesus did when he started his ministry on earth was to get baptised. And the last thing Jesus did before he left the earth was to get his disciples together and tell them what he wanted them to do. He said these words to them. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you, and surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 to 20, the Great Commission. Here he plainly says that he wants his new disciples, that's us, to be baptised and to be taught to obey his commands. So the disciples go back to Jerusalem and they wait for the promised Holy Spirit to come. And when he comes, the disciples go out and speak to the crowds and that day over 3,000 people decide to follow Jesus. And what does Peter say to them? when they come to him and say, what should we do now? Peter replies, repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is for you and your children and for all who are far off, for all whom the Lord our God will act. That's all recorded in Acts chapter 2. Now you don't have to be baptised to be saved. But if you are saved, Jesus wants you to be baptised. Can I say that again? You don't have to be baptised to be saved. But if you're saved, Jesus wants you to be baptised. Because it's not through any works that we're saved. It's, you know, it's not even baptism. It is only due to God's grace. Our salvation is a free gift from God. But it's clearly important to Jesus uh, that we be baptised. Why, you ask? Well, does it matter? Jesus wants us to do it. Is, isn't that enough? Well, if you're like me, you can't help but ask the question. So let me give you three reasons why I think that it's important. <laughs> Firstly, because becoming a disciple of Jesus is not a private affair. It's a public affair. Baptism is about going public with our faith. See, when we become a disciple of Jesus, he wants us to tell the world. Jesus says in Matthew chapter 10, verses 32 to 33, Whoever acknowledges me before others... I will also acknowledge before my Father in heaven. But whoever dis disowns me before others, I will disown before my Father in heaven. Baptism is about going public with your faith. Secondly, it's a symbol. A symbol that acts out what has happened to us. As we go under the water, it's, it's a symbol of us dying to ourselves and our old life. And when we come up, it's a symbol of the new life we have with Jesus. Now, God's made us, and he knows that symbols are important between those who love each other. For, for example, my, my wedding ring is... Oh, wrong hand. My wedding ring <laughs> is, is a symbol that represents the eternal love I have for my wife. And there are lots of symbols that lovers use, aren't there? From locks on bridges to long-stemmed red roses to express, express their love for each other. And finally, baptism is important because it involves every bit of us. Yes, even our, our whole bodies, as it is totally immersed under the water. Now, some religions make a distinction between our physical bodies and our spiritual self, but not our God. He made us with bodies, and they are important to him. He knows that your emotions are tied to your body. You get angry when you're hungry. You get teary when you get sick. You get cranky 
when you stub your toe. He even has the number of our hairs on our head numbered. <laughs> and for me, that requires a recount each day. Jesus tells us uh, that after death, we will rise again, not just our spirits, but our bodies also. Look at 1 Corinthians chapter 15. When we decide to follow Jesus and be his disciples, we give everything to him, including our bodies. It's a completely immersive experience. <laughs> Mind the pun. So have you been baptised? If not, then say what the eunuch said to Philip. He says, there, there's water. <laughs> What's stopping me from being baptised? Do it because Jesus asked us to go public with our faith. Do it as a symbol of your love for him and what he has done for you. Do it because he wants every bit of us to follow him. And when you get baptised, make it a party. Invite everyone you know to come because our faith in God needs to go public. And if you, like me, have been baptised years ago, so now, well, it's for, for us just a, a memory, can I ask you, is the fact that you are a disciple still a public fact? Does your world know? Does your life still symbolise what Jesus can do for others? And does everything of you belong to him? I want to talk to you tomorrow about prayer. Put your prayer requests down in the comments below and share your baptism story with me. God bless you and see you in the next video. Bye for now.